I don't know much about Daesh, but I know that they are heartless people. They have occupied Iraq and they can harm or even kill people. Ever since the jihadist Islamic group captured parts of Syria and Iraq and imposed Sharia law, thousands of Christians have fled the region. Many that didn't have been killed. Twelve-year-old Manuela and her mother, Maryam, were among many Christian families that lived in northern Iraq. And when they saw how Christians were being ruthlessly killed, they decided to flee the country. I heard how ISIS members started to kill the pastors and church people. They also raped women. When we started to receive threats because we were Christians, we were terrified, so we fled the country to come here to Jordan. Maryam lost her husband in Iraq when Manuela was only nine months old. Crossing the border without having him by their side was a big challenge. I know that if my father was still here, he would have protected us. But I believe that even if I had the best father here on earth, my heavenly father is way beyond that. Manuela and Maryam are strong believers. They knew that God would look after them and that in him they would find refuge. So when they arrived in Jordan, it was the Christians that came forward to support them. When we arrived here, many churches welcomed us and they opened their doors for us. We are so thankful for them to stand with us and take care of us. Over the last 10 years, Jordan has seen a massive influx of refugees from Iraq, Syria, Yemen and other war-torn countries. There are currently over 6 million refugees in the land of 11 million people. The food crisis here is real, and churches are overwhelmed. Barnabas Aid has been working in Jordan for nearly 30 years, looking after suffering Christians. When they heard about the food crisis in Jordan, they sent help. At Food.Gives, we really believe that we can make a difference. There is enough food around the world, but it's not particularly distributed very well. And so we believe at Food.Gives, as we operate out of the UK, as we operate out of other countries, that we can be part of, of this redistribution, as it were. Um, we can give from a place where we've been so blessed. You know, we, have, we've, we do have access here. We do have the ability to share out of the resources that we have. This is one of many churches in Jordan that has been supporting Christian refugees from neighboring countries. Today, over 100 Christian families will receive food boxes donated and packed by Christians from around the world. Manuela and her mother, Mary Ann, were among many families that received aid. It is Jesus Christ who moved the hearts of these Christians who have come forward to help us. We are so thankful. They are happy that here they can sing songs and worship God without any threat or fear. Manuela can also go to school and says she wants to become a lawyer when she grows up. I want to stand up for those that are harmed and persecuted when I grow up. I want to be there for those that have gone through hard times. So just like Manuela and Mariam, you can help support many suffering Christians around the world today. Like the Word of God says, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. And we would love to invite you to join with us to help serve those in need today. Thank you.